Are you thinking about buying a specialized chisel or maybe you already own one? Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Mike with 50MTB and I'm going to do a long-term review on this specialized chisel uh, that I've owned for about a year now and uh, giving it quite a bit of riding. First of all, it is a great bike. I've been very, very happy with this bike. Uh, we'll go into a lot of details, but uh, overall, this is a fantastic bike. First, let me tell you why I purchased the bike. I bought the bike so that I could uh, race uphill, you know, go really fast uphill and also have some confidence on the downs. Uh, I have a lot of people I ride with that I try to beat up the hill. That's kind of our big thing. And so uh, I wanted to make sure I had a light bike uh, that was quick. Uh, this has the 29, so 29 inch wheels. They roll really well. And that was another thing that I was discovering is uh, for about 20 years, I rode a 26 inch bike and I loved the bike. It did great. Uh, however, when I was going on the downhill, I was going max speed and normally I'd be way ahead of a, a group of people. And uh, recently they started to get uh, 27 and a half and 29 inch wheels and they were keeping up with me. So that's when I realized that either I was starting to get slower, which I didn't think was happening, or they were getting faster with those bigger wheels. So I wanted to get 29 inch wheels and that's what I did here again with this chisel and uh, uh, very happy with the, the results. I've been able to get a lot more speed on the down. Uh, it rolls really well on the up. I'd say if you're on a 26 uh, going up, a little more effort to get the wheels going, but not much. And once they get rolling, they, they do really well. They roll over things really well. Uh, rocks, uh, roots, um, any, anything that would, any obstacles that would get in the, in the path, uh, they're gonna do a really good job of getting up and over. So let's walk through the bike and uh, I'll show you some of the things that I've changed on the bike and, uh, and what I think the results are. First of all, I wanna let you know that I did just weigh this bike and I've got all kinds of stuff on it. I weighed it the way you see it with my water bottle on there and my uh, safety pack in the back and my pump uh, on it and uh, uh, just the whole nine yards. Pedals, I got the big heavy pedals. <laughs> anyway, right now it's at 26 and a half pounds. When I purchased the bike, this is a large by the way, uh, I'm six foot two, this is a large. And when I purchased the bike, uh, it weighed uh, about 24 pounds with tubes and when I went tubeless it got down to about 23 and a half without pedals so 23 and a half bare without pedals uh, once I added the pedals and so forth those kinds of things uh, went tubeless added pedals I think it um, in my water bottle and stuff I think I was up to about 24 uh, since then I've now added some tires which you can see there I went with thicker heavier tires because I was getting some uh, flats and uh, anyway, now we're up at 26 and a half. And again, I'll describe everything that's on the bike in just a second. One other thing I did want to mention is that I did get the large. I'm six foot two and I got the large. And in retrospect, I probably should have got the extra large. Um, I've ridden a couple extra larges now and I do like the feel of the, the more solid feel of the extra large on the down uh, for more stability and it still climbs well. So old school th thought was that you want a smaller bike so you could throw it around and, and I have been able to do that and I, I enjoy the bike, it fits me just fine. But the extra large, because I'm right between sizes large and extra large, probably should have gone for that extra large because I now I'm appreciating more stability on the downhill. But let's walk through the bike here, okay? So hopefully you can see this. We've got uh, the rear cassette was one of the first things I changed. Uh, this bike came with the 1142 in the back and I changed it to a Sunrace 1146, which was a little bit lighter and a little bit better spacing in the gearing. Gives me that little extra granny gear, which I really appreciate on these tall climbs that I'm doing out here in Colorado. And uh, anyway, that was a really good move. Um, what else? We changed the tires, as I mentioned a second ago. Uh, they did have the fast tracks on. I really liked the fast tracks. They were quick, they were grippy. Uh, the thing I didn't like about them is they were thin on the sidewall and I got uh, both the front and the back. Uh, I ended up with um, sidewall uh, scrapes, that, that cuts I guess, cuts from sharp rocks. Uh, um, the back tire happened within maybe the first couple weeks and then the front tire happened I'd say, oh maybe, say it happened maybe uh, oh, a couple months in. So I went with these Maxxis and I probably went a little overboard. I went with the uh, DHR2s in the back and the DHRF in the front. 
really like these tires. Um, I went down a path recently where I hit this uh, sharp rock really hard and I heard that kapoof noise you hear when your rubber hits a rock and I thought oh man I got a flat and I looked and it was fine and I rode for another hour and a half on it really happy with that so uh, these tires are good they're grippy uh, they are a little heavier of course than the uh, fast tracks and if your paths uh, you're, that you're riding on are all smooth you probably want to stick with those fast tracks because they are quick um, these added a little bit of weight I think a couple hundred grams total uh, might have been 400 grams total. Anyway, you can look that up, but it, it worked out to be really well for me because uh, I've got good grip now, good sidewalls, and uh, I'm not getting any flats after about three months of riding. I'm pretty happy with them. All right, what else did we do? We had, a, this is the game changer. Hopefully you can see this. This is the PNW uh, dropper post. So PNW components dropper. This is the Rainier, uh, and they make this 27, 0.2 size that you need for this bike which is pretty unusual and rare and you can see I could do a lot more dropper but this is one of the tallest droppers for this bike for that size that uh, diameter of the seat post uh, I, this has 110 millimeters of drop and it is awesome I feel so much more confident on the down this is my first dropper post and now I understand why people get so excited about it it's a little awkward at the very beginning but you get used to it pretty quickly and all of a sudden you're using it all over the trail uh, for up and down riding and uh, definitely on the down downs uh, but it gives you a lot more confidence going over anything that's weird awkward drops jumps uh, bumpy rock gardens I like to drop that baby down a little bit even uh, start using a little bit of a, just a slight drop if you're going up some technical work and uh, been very happy with that all right, I'm trying to think if we've changed anything else on the bike. We put a mud flap on, but uh, the wet season was uh, over for us. So uh, I, other than rocks popping up into it, I really haven't uh, done a lot of experience with that, but it seems to be working. Um, I think that's it. The rest of the bike is stock. Very happy with this bike. Now, I will mention one thing that was very unfortunate. This fork up here is a Reba fork. And in general, I've liked it quite a bit. However, I will say, uh, uh, just to let everybody know, uh, I did have a big crash on this bike uh, at the end of last summer. It was uh, actually the beginning of October. Yeah, I had been riding the bike for about four months, no, three months, three months straight, almost every day, uh, about 90 days straight. And uh, I just got in the bike and loved it and started riding like crazy. So one of the cool things about riding every day, I was riding every day for 90 days, I lost a lot of weight. Uh, I, I currently weigh 210 because I uh, got injured and gained a lot of weight. But uh, by, at the time, 90 days straight, I got down to 192 pounds. Uh, anyway, 192 pounds a day of my accident, I know because I happened to weigh myself that morning. Uh, anyway, this fork, I came off of a double drop and uh, hit the first drop just fine. Uh, hit the second, went off the second drop, came down, and uh, the fork compressed and did not come back up. The front tire went flat, and I went over the handlebars, uh, and it was pretty rough. That was the first bone I've ever broken in my body, and I broke my collarbone, and I broke it in a place that uh, can't heal by itself. 90% of collarbone breaks can heal by themselves without surgery. I had to have surgery because it was at the tip. So a real drag. I now have a metal plate in my shoulder. <laughs> Uh, and it took about three to four months for recovery time and then another month because of weather So I was out for about five months and uh, now we've been on the bike for a couple more months falling back in love with the bike uh, Although I'm definitely more timid now on the downs uh, But I wanted to let you know about that fork. Uh, what happened was I brought it uh, I had to send it back into the factory uh, to SRAM and they did end up uh, rebuilding this uh, Rock Shock Reba and uh, with the rebuild, it seems to be working just fine. Uh, but I was uh, obviously disappointed that that happened. And I thought I'd point it out. Now, I don't want that to color the overall bike because this bike has been a fantastic bike. Uh, I am able to go up the hills that I was able to go up before with the 26 just fine. In fact, uh, I think I'm just as strong. Uh,
I've got the gearing where I like it. I really love the one by. If you haven't gotten on one by for some reason yet, it is awesome. I always believed that one by was the way to go. I never used those upper for chain rings uh, on the bike, and so I always felt the one by one was the the one by. I always felt that the one by was the way to go, and uh, really like this setup. Uh, and then, of course, the downs have been fantastic, very fast. And now with that dropper C post, I feel very confident going down the downs um, and a lot more secure. I really feel myself getting my butt over the rear of that tire, uh, that back tire, uh, when I'm going down the steeps. And uh, also, it feels really good in the jumps and also the, the pumps. So it's something you should definitely consider. So I highly recommend this bike, uh, this specialized chisel, if you're thinking about getting a, a quick bike, a bike that you can go fast uphill, fast on the flats, and even quick on the downs. Uh, it has been a great bike, uh, very happy with it. Uh, it's an aluminum bike, I could see somebody racing this. It's a, a lighter, a lower cost um, bike that you can still race. Uh, mine was uh, came in under $2,000, and I think you can still get them in under $2,000. Uh, but it's just been fantastic. Love the disc brakes. Everything about it is working really, really well. I didn't know about SRAM uh, disc brakes, by the way, but they are working really good. I like the modulation on them. Uh, it, they don't bite right away like the XTs can, uh, like the Shimano's. Uh, by the way, I really like Shimano's. It's just that these, I, so I was really happy uh, with these uh, level, I think it's the uh, level uh, LTs on this uh, bike right here, and it's it's been fantastic. So I know I'm talking a lot. I want you to know it's a great bike, and you should go out and check it out. Very happy, and that's my long-term review. So uh, get out there. If, by the way, if you like this uh, review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like bike reviews like this and ride-alongs, and uh, we do bike demos and, and demo products, uh, if you like that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Love to bring you along. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about the Specialized Chisel, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. Would love to uh, be able to answer your questions or maybe someone else who's watching this can also try to answer your questions because uh, I think it's a great bike and you should definitely put it on your list. All right, I'm Mike and I really appreciate you riding along with me. Have a great day.